Tom. Hello, everybody! Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Scanner Sombra! Uh, we're gonna be heading into New Game Plus. Let's check out what we go got going on. Because uh, we went into here for a little bit and didn't really do all too much, but... Now, with the power of Seek Skiants, I could put on, I could don my virtual reality visor once more. Don it. There, uh, there we go. Grab my scanner. Don't scan my face. And now... I have all of the parts now for new, from New Game Plus. There is a body. That's... Like I said, like I said in the in the last episode, it's probably me. I, I didn't notice that body the first time I did that. Then again, a lot of the area around here is pretty, uh... Pretty distinct. Alright, I'm gonna just BST my way through here. You can get the BST. Also, I got the high, uh... High volume of, uh, of whatnot going on here. So... Maybe we can turn this into a speed walking! I don't know, there's probably a lot of stuff that I missed due to uh, not having the... The... Uh, whatever this sensor is called, whatever this visor thing is called, the... Ah, material mod! The fact that it squishes when I walk there is very unsettling. Hold down the button, do 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 do. Hold down the button, do 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 do. Hold down the button if you want to make it through this cave. Nobody has been as uh, as deep as this for thousands of years, except for those miners who died. But we won't go into them, not yet anyway. I was utterly alone. No call for help would ever reach the surface. No, not not focused. I wanted to be a dispersed spread. Look at the stars in the sky. All my friends told me I was crazy. My wife couldn't understand my obsession. So I guess I wasn't a researcher. I was a miner. But I had to know if the myths were true. So maybe I wasn't a miner. Maybe I was a researcher. Oh, and my team was with the miners. They weren't digging stuff up. Okay. Answers are starting to make sense now, now that I've gone back to this game. It's New Game Plus. So I'm probably going to spoil a lot of stuff. So, thank you to ch for, to the uh, to the comments for teaching me a unique, uh, a rather unique way to determine the difference between stalagmites and stalactites. Uh, stalagmites with the G, the stalagmites means ground, and stalactite with the C means ceiling. So the stalactites are the ones that are hanging from the ceiling. The stalagmites are the ones from the ground. As you probably know, it's a little bit better from the game Tales of Symphonia. Oh, yep, that- Yup, there's a bridge! Ooh! We have some form of... Either it's imported stone or metal. I don't quite recall what the material- what each of the materials was. Oh no, white was, uh... I forgot what light blue was. White's metal. Green is like the- sort of like the- the rocky material in the caves. And, uh... Like, the yellow and orange is, like, a more organic thing, so maybe this is, like, I don't know, like, marble, maybe? Or, like, some, some like, sort of processed stone? What? Wait, do I get new mods? Could this place have, uh, been even older than the legend suggested? It's the legends of the things. The resolution was astonishing. Never before had such powerful geological scanner been, ava been available. Well, the resolution got a lot better considering that I already have all the upgrades. So there's that. You know, I'm gonna go through most of this with the material scanner because a lot of this- Hello? Oh, you know what? Uh, they sound the same. I was gonna say that maybe blue is rock and uh, green is dirt. Uh, oh, hello, buddy.
Although humans still seem to be outlined in re in regular color. Regular colors. I don't know. The tent seems to be made of like fiber, so I would suggest like a wood. I'm still trying to like ar like argue semantics of like what the materials of each thing is made of here. Meanwhile, rainbow vision. The reason I like keeping the the uh, material vision on is when like usually when it's something like white, blue, or uh, or um, uh, orange and yellow, like uh, an orangey yellow, then uh, you could usually find where like the man made ma man made things are. I mean, you can see them like this, but it's kind of hard to uncover them. Like the material scanner gives you much more. See, like the floor here, I wouldn't have never assumed that the floor here was like was man made. I figured that would have been part of the cave. Well, until I kind of came down to the sides here. So actually, yeah, keeping the material scanner on, it's pretty neat. Use the, I'll use the BST some more as well. Some more hanging stuff. Yeah, you could zoom, I forgot you could zoom in on stuff. I thought the zoom would have come in handy during that one bit with the cliff that I just, for the life of me, couldn't get around. Round, round, get around, I get around. Get around, round, round, I get around, I get around. Jumping down. Do, 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 do. All right. Uh, you know, I was thinking like you know the, there was like a small like horror aspect to this. Not nearly as, as scary the second time through, especially when you know seeing that seeing that body there. I guess. Oh, well, it's kind of like when you when you tell the same joke twice. Like the second time you hear it, it's not nearly as funny as the first time. Uh, did I screw up? I feel like I may have screwed up. No, I didn't screw up. I got to go down here. See, now the problem is that was still a little bit shocking. You know what's kind of interesting about games is like when, when they lack things like, uh, like, I guess like, I, I, not really lack things, but like, the fact that like in this game where the character is more or less a blank slate, like you are supposed to be the thing portraying this character. They never did iron out all the glitches. Well, except for like the bits where he's telling the story, but still. Like, they could have done something where it's like to try and like freak you out a little bit. Sometimes you'd see sensor echoes from days earlier. Calibrations turned into ghosts. Ghosts? Like Zoic Scoob! I don't like ghosts! But even so, I never could explain everything I saw. But, um... What was I saying before? Oh, shoot. Ah, I lost my train of thought! And it was... I don't think it was really that important, but it was it was a nice little like conversation piece there. Let's see. Talking about the fact that scare. Oh, the, okay. What I was saying is like the fact that they like some games like with like the advancements that they have could add like you know heavy breathing or a heartbeat. So it's like kind it's kind of like the canned laughter in in uh in in sitcoms. Like this is where you're supposed to laugh. This is where you're supposed to feel afraid because of the heartbeat. This is where you're supposed to feel sad because the audience is going ah. Like, they don't try to force that upon you, and, and... Well, here's the thing, like, they couldn't really force that upon you because technology wasn't really there yet, and, like, the, the concepts weren't really there yet, either. I suppose I can go back to Rainbow for a second, just because the, uh... Nothing seems to be made of a different material as of now. But anyway... Well, I guess it's just a rock. I thought it was, like, maybe been something man-made. But anyway, uh, the... But like nowadays, like you have games where it's like they'll add in heavy breathing or like a heartbeat sound effect to make you like, make you like afraid. I guess like in some games, like uh, like to tell you when you're supposed to be afraid. Up, oh. yep. There's falling people. They are. De you know what I find interesting about about these these visions as well is that my scanner is like detecting them, like as they're falling. Like if I didn't scan them that I wouldn't see them. I just see the glitches in the visor. But I have to scan in order to see where I'm going here. Alley -oop. But I guess in some games it works for itself. Like in um Dead by Daylight, like that in that game, it uh it'll 
you know, the heartbeat's there to signify that you're in danger. Like, that's, that's more of like a mechanic of the game as opposed to a this is what you should be feeling sort of thing. Either way, I do love the way this game looks. Even though it is just like, sprinkles on a, uh... Like little sprinkles here and there on a, uh, on a, on a cave wall. Part of me, like, like, now that I, the more I think about it, like, I... I kind of wanted to see if I could do something along the lines of, like, Freeman's Mind or something like that. Or, like, I played through the game first. Like, so I knew what would happen, and then, like, play out the role of the character as I went through this. It probably wouldn't be nearly as funny, because this is more of a serious story. But, uh... You know, it would... You know, the, 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 the narrative would be there, you know? I kind of, like, add my own narrative to it, which is kind of like what, uh... Old machinimas used to do back in the day like they would take the story of a character and like expand upon it Whether it was like for satire or comedy or if it was like indeed, you know serious like satire or comedy like in in the terms of like some of the halo machinimas like the um, Like the old master chief series by uh, Lyle McDouchebag back when he was known as guitar master x7 or even like uh, what is it? Um, oh, what was his name? I've been watching his stuff recently uh, Freeman's mine. Uh, the Cursed Farms guy. I want to say his name is Scott, or his last name is Scott. He's got a he's got Scott somewhere in his name. Am I going the right way? I don't think I am. Well, if I'm not going the right way, then I can always just jump back up. Oh wait, no, there's there's a ledge down here. Okay, good. Little bit a uh, little bit different there. Whoops. See, the problem with this game is like the you're trying to be fine. You're trying to find your way out. And, you know, when you're in here, out could be in a multitude of directions. But or, or when you're in this cave, you think, OK, up, up would be out because you're in a cave. If there's no ceiling over your head and it's just blue sky, then then that is out. Then, then you're not trapped in a cave anymore. And, and it's like that's enclosing you off. Generally, so when you go down in this kind of game, then it's like where am I going? Shouldn't I be trying to head up? But then the only path is down. So you're like am I even going the right way? Is this even the way that I came from? You know what I, I, I would say that I'm delving into into game theory, but I'm not Matt Pat and I'm speaking more of, of game theory along the lines of like, you know, the th like the theory of like how to how to make people feel in this game or like how to give people a sense of openness in a game, that kind of theory. Not theory of am Mario bad guy. And don't get me wrong, like I'm not, while I'm not a fan of, of, of game theory, like, I, you know, I, I do, like, enjoy the stuff that, like, Matt Pat, well, I'm not, like, a, like, a big fan of game theory, but I do, I do enjoy the, like, game theory for, like, what it is, it's like a, it's like a fun little romp, you know, through, like, like, this is games, this temple must be over a thousand years old, but it's, like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like adding your own twist onto games, you know, kind of like this, like, but it's uh, uh, to like a little bit more of an extent because you're connecting dots that may or may not be there. My problem with it is when people take it way too seriously. It's kind of funny when it's like the content of something generally isn't the thing that's bad, but the people who watch the content and comment on it. But then it's like, you know, that's sort of the lifeblood of the people who make it. Oh, there's, I'm guessing that's Satan. But it's like, my, my biggest gripe with game theory is the people who automatically assume that what, what he's saying is true. Like... Like, what was it? There was that one thing where it's, uh, where there was the, the theory he put out where, uh... Sans was actually Ness from Earthbound. And then, like... And then Toby Fox came out and said, yeah, Sans isn't Ness. Like, would you argue that against the creator of the game? This is where they perform sacrifices. Are there any bodies in here? Because I could use a new body after what happened to my old one. 
I just real- oh no, wait, maybe- No, that's a silhouette of a body in here. Huh. Note about the scanner. Can't detect blood stains, no matter how old. Uh-oh. They're pushing people over the edge! No! He was so young! What did- what have you done? He had his whole life ahead of him! I was wondering how many of the poor bastards got thrown off here. Uh, let me check the map again. I've been doing well so far. Alright, I gotta go to the prisons. Under the prison. Yet da 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 where the hell's the prison? It is back this way? Oh no, there's a bridge here. Okay, let us go up th I don't know why I'm singing the Mario Party theme. I do like- it. hold on, let me write my name. I did this once before, but I screwed it up. There we go, Tom, with a little bit of a blue for the M. Actually, hold on, I want to see if I can go to like an open space that's completely- Oh, I'm not gonna be able to because I need to kind of see where I'm going here. Generally, sight outweighs the need for fanciful art. The cultists believe the cave itself is malevolent, that the dead can never escape. I wonder how far I can get into this without actually... ...just painting everything. This is probably the jail, so I can't see a damn thing. The victims were doomed to relive their final tortured hours forever. Kinda like the main character in this game is. Yeah, I'm in the prison. Okay. I'll have to wait until I get into the cave with the shark. No wonder people went mad down here. Well, what about me? I'm just a spooky ghost. I feel bad if I'm interpreting- if I'm, like, completely misinterpreting this game. Like, there's definitely a story to be told here, and I'm... So I'm making very much light of it. But then again, I was sort of, like, trying to speculate the mysteries that- that- that, like, came of it here. Note to self, the prisons are made of wood. Or at least something organic. Also- Oh, uh, you know what? This is probably the part before the mining operation began. Oh, did I make it? I just- no, I didn't circle around. This is definitely new, because otherwise I wouldn't have this colored in. Aha! Alright, excellent! I should probably s spackle the floor here because it's terrif- wait. Oh, I'm above it now, okay. I was like, am I back in this chamber? Alright. Well, now the music's starting to get scary. This makes me feel like a graffiti artist, man. In fact, the, f the, the, the sheer fact that I can, like, change the aperture and whatnot... Trees. I'm surprised that trees are able to grow down here in some way. Maybe this is, like, a much more ancient thing. The cultists slept and ate here. What did they eat? Like the monks who came after, they spent, uh, time in silent prayer to God. I keep seeing, like, these seams appear on the floor every now and then. I'm wondering if that's just, like, artifacts or if my scanner just isn't reaching that and it's, like, supposed to be sort of a, uh, like, you know, water damage or something like that. Am I supposed to be up here? No, this doesn't seem like the right way. Although there's fencing over here, so I mu this must have been to a point where, like, the mining operation got to. Unless these were built by the cultists. But considering they seem to be built out of, I'm like I said, I'm assuming blue is some sort of processed stone. Then that could be the fact that- that could just be the cultists before. And they did make mention before, I was like, 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck! Have I mentioned that Aladdin is one of my favorite movies? All right. Oh, it's another- it's another statue of Satan! You know, that's kind of funny. If you turn back and look at the- at the progress you made, half of it will be gone because you didn't bother to- to spray the backside of the rocks. So it's like, everything looks great and wonderful. Uh-oh, I forgot my wrench! Everything's gone! 
Uh, maybe I should, maybe if I look at the second half of the game, like where I would have gotten the material scanner, I'll stop using the uh, material scanner here. I think that was, that was definitely before the boat. It was after the shark, though. After the shark. Going through with the material scope here. Ah, uh, here we go. Stalactites in the raining area. Huh. That's... I didn't notice that before! You really couldn't s oh, you couldn't see it with the mater- with the, with the material scanner. The parts that are like flashing there are supposed to be like raindrops that are falling in there and causing the reflection to change. Very interesting. Man, that's- that seems like an almost inconsequential detail. Because I don't think you actually see any water like this after you get the material scanner. The material mod, I should say, for the scanner. The LIDAR scanner, I believe, I believe it was called. Light... I don't remember what the, what the, what L-I-D-A-R stood for. But basically, that's what this is. Alright. And stuff starts to go wrong. Uh Okay. That part I think no matter how many times I play that unless I was like unless I learned to like speed run this game, that part would always be scary. Although very heavily story driven game probably not meant to be speed run. You know, I'd assume that like a game like Heavy Rain. I wonder like what games are impossible to speed run. Pac-Man maybe. I guess if you set a goal for it like the the Witch Trials came much later. I guess if you set, like, a goal for it, like, uh, you know, how fast can you get to this level? But then I guess there'd always be a set speed for it. They used to drag witches down here and purge them in huge numbers. Evil throughout the ages. Well, this is the cavern area. This is where the shark first appeared. There's no doubt they believe it in myths. It was no accident they chose this cave. But then I guess the RNG elements of the, uh, of, of, like, the ghosts in Pac-Man. Well, maybe not RNG, but, like... What is it? One of them is supposed to be like, uh, they wanted to imprison evil down here as eternal punishment. Not necessarily RNG, but the mechanics. I think only one of the ghosts in Pac-Man is completely RNG. There's the shark. Uh, let me make sure I'm going the right way before I do any of this. Is this the right way? Oh, well, there appears to be something here. Like the the goal the the, the goal is to g maybe it's like this the like the spirits of like witches or something like that. I'm I'm grasping it. I'm grasping here to try and figure out like what it actually is. The uh, the shark. I mean, like at one point, like the, you know. At, at end game. Spoilers, by the way, if you haven't seen the first three parts already. I did wonder if it was true, of course. No way these were just glitches. If witches really existed? That much death occurring in such a confined space, what horrors they must have seen in their final moments. Well, the shark, maybe. The shark seems to be a human. Like, it's, it's definitely humanoid shape. I have no idea what it's actually called. I've been referring it to the shark. Uh, I've been referring it as the shark this entire time, hoping it would stick. And you know, I'd say it's done a pretty good job. Sharks, sharks generally tend to stick around, especially when there's blood in the water. Shark. Ay -ay 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 Yeah, I really like the, uh, the material scanner in this area, because it... I didn't know, like, the water... That, that was, that's awesome that the water, like, glistens like that. I guess it's not, like, rain falling in there, that's just the water glistening in its own. Oh, no, that's how the... that's just how the light fades on there!
That's actually really cool looking. Kind of reminds me of like when you take like a uh, uh, high exposure picture with like a firework or something like that and they like draw out their name or something like that. I think my favorite- oh geez that could have been bad. I think my favorite ones are those are the ones where they accidentally spell it- spell uh, what they're trying to- uh, what they're trying to do backwards. It's like I can spell my name and it's like, oh! Your name is Mass instead of Sam or something like that. Or something like that. Uh, am I going the right way? The exit's that way. However, this appears to be a dead end. Uh, with, with maybe emphasis on the word dead. Yep, nope. Get out of the water. The witch shark is going to come for you. Although, I seem to have trapped myself down on the shore here. Uh, can I quick save? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I think there's a shore right here. Yeah. I don't gotta worry about no shark. Alright, uh... So that maybe wasn't the right way. Maybe over there? This lake area always confuses me. It's gigantic. I don't understand either. I'm like waiting in the water, not necessarily swimming in it. The scanner's still above the water. So why is it having all these like bugs and glitches in there? I'm gonna get eaten by the shark. Is that the shark? Where's the shark? There it is! That is horrifying. I never actually saw it like that, and it drags me at you underwater too. Ugh. How creepy. Alright, so how do I get back up there without alerting the shark? Maybe I do have to keep going this way. Any more landmass over there? No. Anyway, back up to where I was before? Not really. What was over here? Was this the way I- was that the way I came from? That looked like a dead end. Considering that my goal... ...for the lake exit is over that way, I don't think this is the right way at all. Although I've been wrong before. Aha! Woohoo, if I had mi- oh man, I just slid into that. If I had missed that, that would have sucked. Alright, so I'm starting to think that that thing that comes after you isn't a shark. Considering that it walked at me. It could be a walking shark. Like a humanoid walking shark. That'd actually be pretty neat. Like a street shark. Oh wait, BST! Scanning! Man alive. I didn't even come close to scanning this entire area. That was another upgrade right there. God, I love how like the lights disappear on this. Like the the, the fact that they turn white and then, then like vanish. That just that's just neat to me. All these metal cages in here. Uh, I believe I'm heading the right way. He said with hope in his heart and a song in his soul. Yeah, I am heading the right way. Oop! Aha! No need to tip off the man shark or woman shark or whatever that shark is, really. Fortunately, these natural rock formations are just the way I need to go.